Pache Passe. You already know, it's a premiere. So I know you're probably wondering, Shay, what are those inside your glasses? Well, I got something in store for you all today. Stay tuned so you can find out why. Cheetah or your team kids. Shay Passe, do not forget to watch to the end. This video is going to be in real time because if you are considering LASIK surgery, I want you to know exactly what the consultation process is going to be like. I'm not going to fast forward. That way, every question you have can be answered. Make sure you turn your volume. Listen up. First impressions when walking into LASIK Plus, it was super clean, super inviting. They had the blinds raised so that you can really see everything. They give you um, a consent form to sign and they have you complete the consent on their computer. Once they call your name, you're gonna be taken to a room in the back. Here they are gonna conduct a set of eye exams just to assure that you are a good candidate for LASIK surgery. Um, this is only part one of the exams because they will have you do a second portion. Um, I was actually doing research online. I've been looking into this for about a year now. Okay. Um, but I was doing research online just since to locations in Chicago um, that have like five star LASIK, uh, LASIK reviews mm -hmm. and things like that. And so your office was actually at the top of the list. Okay. Yep. We do encourage patients to leave reviews. Mm -hmm. So future patients are yeah. going to get an idea. Mm -hmm. And you guys had over like 700 uh, five star reviews. So that was actually really oh. good. And then I also was doing my research on like the all inclusive. Mm -hmm. and not many of the other um, providers do all-inclusive they actually have it to where like if you get the ducks in your eyes you mm -hmm. know that's an extra 200 per yeah, eye yeah no we you know there's prices based on every little thing mm -hmm. you have a stigmatism that's going to be an extra thousand but you all kind of have like a flat rate and it usually doesn't go past 2,000 per eye and then I know you're running the special now for the 250 mm -hmm. per eye and I'll be able to let you know if you qualify for yes, that prescription or for that promotion. Yes, ma'am. And so tell me, do you have any allergy to latex or medication? I'm allergic to shellfish, the food. That's my only allergy. Okay. And then have you ever been diagnosed with anything medically, like diabetes or any autoimmune disorders? No, ma'am. Any history in the immediate family of cataracts, glaucoma, no, diabetes, hypertension? No, ma'am. And, um... Have you had any injuries, infections, diagnoses, or procedures to either of your eyes? No, ma'am. Okay. So today we'll do some pre-testing before I have you see one of the doctors. Yes, ma'am. We will check your vision. We're going to double check prescription. Okay. We'll do some corneal scans. Okay. We'll check your eye pressure. Yes, ma'am. And then we'll also dilate your eyes. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and come on over. This won't pop out any air. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and rest your chin on the chin rest. Bring mm -hmm. your forehead against the forehead rest. Mm -hmm. You'll see a blurry image of a road. Just look straight ahead. Look straight ahead at the image, it will come in and out of focus. All right, go ahead and sit back. Yes. Now we're going to check your vision with and without prescription. So okay. things will start off blurry, okay. things will clear out, and then okay. I'll show you different images to okay. different lenses. We'll okay. see what works best. Okay. Come on in, rest your forehead against the forehead rest. 
can you read this line? Yes, ma'am. Z, C, D. What is the lowest line that you can read there? Um, R, H, C, S, Z. And here. R, H, K, S, D. The last one I can read it, but it is blurry. Is that okay? So yeah, read give it. it a try as okay. long as you don't have to squint. Yes, ma'am. S V H C Z. Anything here? Or is that blurry? Um, it looks like X Y O D X. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Out of the right eye, can you read this line? Yes, ma'am. S V N. And here? Z C D. What's the lowest line that you can read clearly there? R H C S Z. Anything here? Um, o Z D V K K. Right. Sorry. Out of the left eye, mm -hmm. what's the lowest line you can read there? R H C S Z. And here. S Z H C Z. Anything here? Or is that blurry? Mm, it's bl it's slightly blurry. This is your glasses prescription. Mm -hmm. What's the lowest line you can read there? O N R K D. Out of the right eye, lowest line you can read there? V O H Z, and it looks like an S O R N. And out of the left eye, lowest line you can read there? O N R X, and I can't distinguish if that's a D or an O. D. Out of the right eye, looking at this line, which is clearer, one or two? This is one, and this is two. They're about the same, but two, I guess. Okay. And... You have two clusters of dots, one to the right, one to the left. Mm -hmm. Which of the images is clearer? Right, left, or do they look about the same? They look about the same. And here, right, left, are about the same? Well, left looks clearer. There, right, left, are about the same? About the same. You have numbers in red and green. Which of the images is sharper? Red, green, are about the same? About the same. Neither are sharper than the other? Not to me. What's the lowest line you can read here? Mm. Like V O H Z, and I'm not sure that last letter. Okay, and looking at that line, which is clearer, one or two? Two. And here, one or two? Can you do it one more time? This is one, and this is two. One. Out of the left eye, looking at this line, which is clearer, one or two? One. You have the clusters of dots again, mm -hmm. which is clearer, right, left, or about the same? Right. Right, left, or about the same? Right. Right, left, or about the same? Right. And here, right, left, or about the same? Right. Right, left, or about the same? Right. Right, left, or about the same? About the same. And here, right, left, or about the same? About the same. You have numbers again in red and green. Which mm -hmm. image is sharper? Red, green, or about the same? They're actually about the same. Neither is sharper than the other? Not to me. Lowest line you can read here? Mm -hmm. It looks like O, H, R, X, D. Oh, I'm sorry, that's an N. And looking at this line, which is clearer, one or two? Two. Two or three? Two. One or two? One. Mm -hmm. This is one, mm -hmm. and this is two. They're about the same. Okay. And here, one or two? Two. Can you read that line? O-N-R-K-D. Good. And now 
now out of both eyes. What's the lowest line you can read there? O A R K D. Alright, great. Go ahead and sit back. Yes. I'm gonna check your pupil reaction. Yes. Go ahead and come on in and look at my nose. Are you recording over there? Yeah, I'll just record. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was so happy with this office at this point. Not only was she super friendly, but she did not mind me recording footage for my okay. YouTube video, you which in finger. Chicago, Just I don't know about other locations, they can get very iffy about you pulling out your phone or pulling out a camera and recording, and but website. they were super friendly Looking about it and totally supportive of me finger. doing this. officers they are trained to shoot out of their dominant eye to aim okay. out of the dominant eye okay okay Alrighty. if you are a good candidate mm -hmm. when were you thinking you would want to do something like this maybe okay, next week okay <laughs> well we, definitely before the month's over if that's possible yeah we okay. do our surgeries um every week okay. usually towards the end of the week like okay. a thursday or friday okay. For instance, this week we're doing Friday, Saturday. Once okay. a month we'll do a Saturday. Okay. Next week I believe is Thursday. Okay. The girls up front will pull up the schedule. Okay. They'll let you know what we have available. Yes, ma'am. I can give you an idea of pricing okay. based on the numbers that I'm pulling up here. Okay. So you don't qualify for the 250 okay. promo. Your prescription is just a tad bit higher than that. Okay. So for the 250 promo, the qualifications are patients need to have a prescription of minus one or below okay. with no astigmatism, and okay. you're just a little bit above the minus one. Yeah, I think one. I'm minus one seven, mm -hmm. one seven five, right? Somewhere mm -hmm. around there. Mm -hmm. And, but I can give you an idea of the pricing before okay. discount. So we have a couple different lasers that we use to correct okay. vision. Each of them are different in cost as well as warranty, okay. patient prescription as well as the health of the eye is going to determine what's recommended. Okay. Our doctors are going to give you the final recommendation. Yes, Based on your numbers, you'll have options you can choose from. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at starting prices before discount, anywhere from $9.99 an eye mm -hmm. up to $22.95 per eye. Okay. If you're wanting to do it sooner rather than later, since you're wanting to do it mm -hmm. like maybe next week, mm -hmm. they do get discounts for that and they'll let you know what the discounts are. Okay. okay? You're welcome. Do you have questions for me so far before I do some scans? No, ma'am. All right, cool. I want you to come on okay. over to this chair here. So for this next test, no puff of air. Okay. But it is a little bright. Okay. This is our Pentacam. It's going to let us know how flat, how steep, and how thick the corneas are. Okay. Can you verify last name and date of birth? Yes, ma'am. Butler, 6, 12, 91. All right. And rest your chin on the chin rest, forehead against the forehead rest. Go ahead and rest your chin down there. Good. In a moment, you'll see a blue light. I want you to stay looking at the blue light. I'll then ask you to blink a couple times. Then I just want you to keep your eyes wide open. You see the blue light? Yes, Go ahead and blink a couple times. Very good. And now hold the eyes open for one, two, three, four, five. Great. And that's your right corneal. So it takes a whole bunch of little mini scans there. Oh, wow. Corneal thickness is at 511. Your topography is look good. Oh, wow. I will print this out. So these different colors represent what? That's uh, just showing the... us the different layers of the eye. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and that's my actual eye right that's there. That's your actual <laughs> eye right there. Yep, you wow. got it. So I'm going to print this out. Okay. We'll have the doctor's review. Okay. And then we're going to do your left eye next. Okay. So go ahead and come on in. Okay. Press your chin on the chin rest. Forehead against the forehead rest. Same concept. You'll just look at the blue light. Show me how wide you can open your eyes. Good. Now go ahead and blink a couple times here. 
good. And now hold the eyes open for one, two, three, four, five. Great. And that is the left eye. Oh, wow. And they do look slightly different, huh? It takes it from all sorts of different angles. Yeah. So it will look a little different. Corneal thickness here is at 512, which wow. is good. Okay. So we'll print this out. And next I'm going to do a pressure check. Okay. So and this is when the little air gets blown in the eye. Actually, we do it a little different really? right here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have you sit okay. here. So for this next test, I will get a little close to the eye. Okay. So I'm going to give you a numbing drop. Okay. Sometimes the drop can sting for a few seconds. It okay. definitely is going to make your eyelids feel heavy, okay. like you want to take a nap. Okay. Go ahead and tip your head back and bring your chin up. And you can close and you can wipe. So you've been out of contact for about a month now, right? Yeah, I haven't worn. Up. Um, so I only had a six month prescription for my contacts. Okay. I prefer glasses over contacts. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I had a six month prescription, and then I would only wear them when I go out. Okay. So, so it would yeah, it would just be like every once in a while. But my glasses are my everyday go to. Okay. Thing. Very good. Now I want you to look in the direction okay. of the painting on the wall. Okay. I will come in a little close here. Okay. So just try not to blink. Okay. Probably didn't feel anything. No, there, right? I didn't even feel it okay. touching me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we like. Okay. Okay, so next, I'm going to do a dilation. Have you had your eyes dilated at the eye doctor before? Um, I, if I have, it's probably been a while. Okay, so dilation is okay. the drop that we put in. Okay. It is going to dilate your pupils. So it lets us, um, it gives the doctors a good look into the eye. It'll okay. make the pupils pretty large. Okay. How this affects patients is it's going to make your vision up close blurry. Okay. So it makes it hard to read. It's also going to make your eyes sensitive to light, usually the sunlight outside. Okay. Hours last for around four to six hours. Okay. But if you drink a lot of water today, it will help to flush it out of your system okay. faster. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Head back. Okay. Chin up. And you can close and you can wipe. While your eyes are dilating, I'm going to have you watch a video that goes over LASIK in detail. Okay. The video will loop, so once you have finished it, you guys can go back up front. Okay. And um, just have a seat. Okay. The doctors will call you from there. I've yes, got Dr. Burgers and Dr. Dre here today. Okay, thank okay? you so much. You're welcome. Okay. And you can put your glasses back okay, on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and you guys can follow me. Okay. After the pre-test exam is complete, they are now going to have you sit and watch a relapse video about LASIK surgery they're going to ask answer very general questions about it and they're just going to give you the do's and the don'ts of what to not do the day after surgery a few days after and so forth healing process and level of discomfort varies from person to person in order to promote healing it is important that you do not rub or touch your eyes for two days after treatment if you have any questions we encourage you to ask your doctor <laughs> So, um, yeah, so today um, I'm going to see and make sure first that you are medically safe to have LASIK. Um, okay. Going into procedure, we want to make sure that there's no risks that we can foresee at all before okay. the procedure. Okay. Do you have questions at all? Um, not really. I've done a lot of reading about it and watched a ton of different, like, tutorials. Well, not tutorials, but I guess ex people's experiences sure. um, about it. And it seems pretty straightforward. I mean, if they're not telling me something <laughs> that I don't think I already know, but I think I pretty much, like, know what to expect. I know there's a machine that does all the work. It's not like a person physically over my face with a laser, but you're in or you know, whoever will be doing the surgery is in control of the machine. Yes, my yep. eyes will be numb, so I won't actually feel anything. I probably will just see my vision kind of going in and out blurry. Yep. I know recovery time. Um, I'm gonna probably see inhalos, have to wear sunglasses, your goggles to protect my eye from the sunlight. Mm -hmm. um, the first day, no reading, watching TV, just kind of like let my eyes relax. Um, I know you guys are supposed to give me, gonna give me um, eye drops uh, for my eyes. So I know some people get the ducts in their eyes to kind of help uh, with the comfortability afterwards. Yeah, so. they're called punctal plugs. Punctal plugs, exactly. That would be something that if you 
experience an unusual amount of dryness mm -hmm. or anything like that after the procedure with the recovery that we could do to help you along with okay. that. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm pretty, I mean, I think I pretty much got like a roundabout yeah. idea of what I'm going to be expecting. Okay. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Well, so today I'll check prescription now that okay. your pupils are dilated. That's important for gathering the information for the laser okay. programming. And then I'll be checking the health of yours, making sure that everything is healthy and ready to go. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Feel free to ask any questions as we go along okay. here. This is Dr. Dre. Not Dr. J, the DJ rapper, but this is Dr. Dre at LASIK Plus. He is the one who perform, performed my second exams. Extremely friendly, extremely kind. When I say everyone at this office has like the most bubbliest personalities, it made me feel super comfortable being here. Some weeks we only one week. Okay. And we're doing, you know, we're doing. Depends on the depends on the day on how many okay. procedures we're doing. Alright, so I closed off your left eye okay. here. Now through the right eye. Mm -hmm. What's the small sign that you can read here? O T C Z N. Very good. The first thing, I'm going to make it blurry. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Tell me when you can first read okay. the middle line here again. I can start reading it a little bit. Which is clear one, mm -hmm. or better two? Two. This is three, mm -hmm. or clear four? Three. And then how about between five, six? Five. Seven versus eight? Can you do it one more time? Mm -hmm. Seven, or is it clear choice eight? Eight is a little bit clearer. Very good. Can you tell the difference? Nine, ten, mm. or nine? They're about the same. Good. Now we're gonna go with the other eye. Okay. Can you read any of the letters there? Yes. N E Z T L. That should be worse, correct? Yes, it is. Tell me when you can first make out the middle line. Okay. I can make it out now. Better or clear here? One, two, two. This is three. We'll call that three or four. Four. Five versus six. Mm. Five. Six, definitely. Six. Seven. This is eight. Mm. Seven. Eight. They're kind of the same. Look pretty close. Yeah, they look really, really close to one another. And can you read the bottom line here? Z L E T H. Very good. And relax. Thank okay. you. Okay. So how long have you been thinking about this for? It's been like a year and some change. Okay. At first, well, the thing was, so before I had my daughter, because I have three children. You have three? Yes. All right. So what ages? Four, ha, nine, six, and a one-year-old. All right. So when my one-year-old started to snatch my glasses off my face, <laughs> yes. it started to become more real. Like, that, you know, the thoughts started to become more consistent again. Because I used to think about it all the time, but then it was just kind of like... Yeah. You know, like just not one of those things that was like a priority to me uh -huh. or a goal at least like that I was working towards. But where every five seconds now when I'm holding her, the first thing she does is snatch my glasses and stretch them. And she's already broken two pairs of glasses. Oh, no. Okay. And she made one like crazy. So this is another pair that I just got. What was it like two weeks ago? I got these glasses. Yeah. So, okay. so it's like All right. it, it's becoming a, a hassle. And then contacts. I don't mind touching my eye. Okay. It's just very irritating because sometimes like my fingers aren't like 100%, you know, clean when I'm thinking they're clean. I just wash them, but then there might be like a little piece of napkin or paper towel, like a crumb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you put that contact in your eye, you have this like annoying, just like irritating. You have to take it out. And when you put in the solution, you see like, oh, there's a little crumb that was like right there. It's just, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's too much maintenance. <laughs> All right. Well, let's take a look at the rest of the okay. eye. Take your glasses off, please. And then chin here, forehead up against the strap for me. Look at my ear on okay. the side. Bear with me, it's just going to be some bright lights. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the front surface of the eye. This is the cornea. This is where the procedure takes place. Mm -hmm. And look 
down for me. Look straight ahead. side so with this next one I'm looking now inside the eye at all the nerves and blood vessels we're checking for any conditions or diseases inside the eye ceiling okay. for me. Thank you. Good. Look up into the right. So this again allows me to see everything inside the eye to make sure it's healthy before the surgery. Up into the left. Look straight over to the left. Good. Bring your head forward a little bit. Look down to the left. Straight down now. Chin up a little bit. Look to the right. And directly over to the right now. Perfect. Very good, thank you. So looking over all of the measurements that we took earlier, mm -hmm. um, and also looking at the health of the eye, you are a good candidate. Oh, okay. Perfect. Everything looks good. Yay. Any questions for me at all? Um, no. Well, the one thing I was curious about, so like, does the timing of how long it takes for the procedure depend on the health of the eye, or like the prescription, or what is that based off? Because I know like some of them say, oh, it could take six to 60 seconds or you know like how is that kind of determined the actual time that the laser is um reshaping the eye mm -hmm. is dependent upon the strength of the prescription oh, or okay. the quantity of the prescription okay gotcha mm -hmm. okay gotcha it also does matter there is different lasers out there and mm -hmm. some of them are a little quicker than others okay. the newest technology is um having uh faster treatment times. okay gotcha mm -hmm. okay gotcha yep that sounds pretty good to me <laughs> Excellent. So up front, I'll have you meet now with one of our LASIK coordinators, okay. and they will go over dates, times, mm -hmm. and we'll go from there. Okay, gotcha. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I will be right back. Okay. Um, hang out for just a second. Okay, no I'm going to see who's ready up. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dre is now going to pass my file over to Safe. She sits at the front desk and she is going to help me coordinate an appointment. She's going to give me all of the information I need to look over before my big day. They provided me with these little blockers to put in my glasses and that's it. It's a wrap, Shea Passe. Ha-cha-cha-cha. <laughs> 